Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of JV Zoo Webinars, Webinar Swaps, Rich Willens Webinars. God, you know, that's just so much to say. I want to welcome you to my home. Thank you, everybody. My name is Rich Willens, so nice to have you along. We're broadcasting live once again from the beautiful state of Mississippi, right all the way at the bottom of it, just outside of Biloxi, Mississippi, on the Gulf of Mexico in my hometown of Ocean Springs. Thank you for coming by tonight. It's going to be a great show, and I'll tell you why I'm excited. A lot of times I'm not really sure who's my offline people and who my online people are. I, I always get a great mixture, and yet when I sent out the invitations today, I specifically was trying to ring in the offline folks because I met Amanda, and we've been kind of going back and forth on Skype, and she's got so much energy and such a great program that I thought it would be a good fit for my offline marketers. So with that being said, uh, I'm really excited about this because tonight it's not going to be a pitch fest. Uh, there's going to be an offer at the end. There always is an offer at the end, and I'm going to sweeten the deal, and you know what that is. But for the next 60 minutes or so, uh, please have pen and paper ready because you're going to get a lot of content. Now, it's mostly for offline people. So, folks, if you're not in the offline niche, I'm telling you right now, you can either hang up or you can hang on. We'd love for you to hang on because you never know what you might learn. If you're in the offline niche, niche well, I have to tell you, this is going to be an eye-opener. I've seen her materials. I, you, you'll enjoy her very much. Um, she's relatively a newcomer when it comes to our part of marketing, but she's been doing this for a while. So please welcome to the program my guest tonight, Amanda Murdoch. Amanda, welcome to the Hello, program. Rich. How are Hello. you? How are you? Lovely. I am wonderful, thank you. And thank you for such a lovely introduction uh, there. You're, you're very welcome. What I'm going to do is I'm recording this, so I want to make sure that you're going to get every bit of uh, information out and you'll be able to have it on a recording, so we'll also have this as a replay. So we'll, we'll try to reach the largest audience that we can. Now tonight, uh, it's Black Friday, and you know, here in the States, uh, everybody goes crazy the day after Thanksgiving, and we've got the people who have showed up tonight, my, my associates and, and my friends, um, they want to see you, they want to hear you, they want to learn from you. So here's how this works. I'm going to be standing by here in the background. I'll be trying to help you answering any questions that I can in the question box and when I have a chance to either interrupt you which more than likely I won't or when there's going to be a little break I'm gonna throw out the questions to you now I'm gonna mute myself I'm six seconds away so everything that you do from now on is going to be all you so are you ready I am ready is everybody else ready they seem to be it's Brilliant. all yours go ahead Amanda. it's all yours Wonderful. Thank you very much, Rich. And I'm glad you didn't go too much into the Black Friday thing there, because I think we've all just about had enough of it here in the UK. Um, but I just want to start by saying Happy Thanksgiving to you all for yesterday. Um, it's a time of, I believe, you know, showing what you're thankful for. And I'm thankful to Rich, and I'm thankful to you as well, because you've shown up here, you know, in your holiday weekend. Um, and it means a lot to me that you've given up your time to come and listen to me. So... Hopefully, uh, my intention tonight is to give you the right information, um, something that's useful to you. You know, you're giving up your time, and I hope you can really make it worth your while, or I hope I can really make it worth your while. And maybe you'll pick something out of this content, whether it's a great deal of the content that I give you, or maybe just little snippets here and there that could, you know, you could apply to your business and it'll totally change your future. So maybe that could happen for you in the next 60 minutes. Let's see what we can do, hey. Okay, so just to make sure we've got the right people, because Rich talked before about, you know, is it online, offline people, is this going to be for you? I am very focused on the offline marketing. I'm relatively new to doing anything online that is more than working with my clients' businesses online and helping them market their businesses online. So in terms of internet marketing, I'm very new to it. But you're in the right place tonight. If you have use the offline niche or you want to get into the offline marketing kind of niche that's that's been buzzing around um, the internet quite a lot isn't it there's lots of internet marketers saying hey we've got this cool program so you know 
be an, an, an offline marketer and earn money from local business. It's getting to be a really big niche now, and I notice on the Warrior Forum, you know, it's, it's one that generates lots of questions and answers, and there's always lots of buzz going on in that part of the forum. Okay, so if you aren't earning enough money right now, you're doing offline marketing, or whether you're just doing internet marketing, you want to make that switch, you're not earning enough money, you know? If you've been struggling to get going in the offline marketing, maybe you've tried the offline consulting but found it difficult to get clients. You know, and if you're struggling to position yourself in the market, you know, you go out there um, into the town and you're working with different kind of businesses and it's a different way of doing things slightly than it is on the internet. So maybe if you're struggling with that as well. And I see a lot of people which is kind of upsets me really because I just want to jump on and help everyone you know they're trying to phone clients to get appointments and it's just something just don't do it so if if you've been struggling with all these problems you know you're not sure what to say to clients to make that sign up process easy you know and that conversion and if you want a business that's easy to run it's something that you want something that requires very little pressure and something that you find enjoyable and profitable because there's nothing worse you know you, you have this vision you want to create your best future for yourself but if it becomes something that's unenjoyable then it's no good and you're never really going to make a success out of it so if offline marketing is something you really want to get into then you're in the right place tonight and I'm going to run through everything I do in my business well not everything I do in my business because I just haven't got the time but I've tried to pick out some really key points tonight um, so I can really help you okay Okay, so just before we get started, I'll tell you a little bit about me. I said before I haven't really had much to do with internet marketing, and I haven't. My background is, is offline. Um, I'm on leaving school, but I'm trained in studies in accounting and business. I found it quite boring, and ended up in a job in sales, selling kitchens of all things. So that's a really hard sell you know, sharp end of selling. And I actually enjoyed it. People were amazed, you know how can you stand there and take so many no's and so much rejection but it was something that I got a real buzz out of and from there I moved myself into the motor trade I was working in a dealership so I was a sales coordinator, sales controller, sales manager and working in sales as well so I've had many thousands of customers who I sold cars to and from there when I grew up a little bit I went over to the car manufacturer as an area manager, so I had 60 to 70 dealerships that I used to look after in the UK, travel around, help them grow their business, you know, help them leverage everything they have going on in their business and obviously make them the most profits. And then I found myself stuck in this corporate world of sales and marketing and to be honest with you, I couldn't stand it, I thought it was awful. It got to be too much like saying yes in all the wrong places and I just thought I can't live like this, I have to just be myself, you know, I've got enough skills behind me now, I'm going to go out on my own. So I took my marketing skills and my sales skills and ever since then, which was about 10 years ago, I've always been self-employed and no matter what I do, I always find myself coming back to working with local businesses and that generally tends to be because people have come to me and said, I've got this reputation and people come to me and say, oh, can you help me? So I keep trying to get away from it and I keep being dragged back into it. I'm trying to become more of this online model, but I keep getting back, dragged back into these businesses to help them. Okay, I've had two of my own retail businesses as well. Now, I think that gives me a great insight to helping local businesses in the town. Even though my businesses were retail, they were like office based or service based, you really get a feel for what it's like to, have to own a business and it is something that's, that's quite frightening really. You've got people that may have um, remortgaged the homes and invested a hell of a lot of money into the business. So I can see the business from that side too and because I have the connection still with people, business owners, I always get a nice fresh insight into, into where they're at. Okay, so I'm a marketing consultant with local businesses. I've done a lot with local businesses. I'm trying to, because I want to become a bit more mobile in terms of where we move around within the UK, I'm trying to take it more online and just do more online training. Um, so that's why I thought that's why I'm here. Okay, so the first picture you see of me there, I've just put that up there so you know who you're talking to. You've probably seen that profile pic 
of me around the internet. I try and stick to one picture so it's recognisable, because you know what us girls are like, we have a change in our makeup and our hair. Um, and then the bottom picture is why I do what I do. It's my family, I'm very focused on my family. You know, I didn't want a career um, in corporate anymore, I didn't want to be away from my family. I like being at home, I'm quite a home girl, Rich was telling me about all the things he was doing before. And um, I felt quite boring compared to Rich, but I am, you know, this. I am happy at home, I love being with my family, and I want that freedom to spend that time with my family, and I'm sure you're very much the same too. Okay, so let's turn to you now, because that's enough about me, um, and you see my lovely picture there, the ladder of success, and it's not quite put on the ladder, so I do apologize about that. Okay, it's very difficult in this situation, you know, you're having this one-way conversation, I'm talking to a computer screen at the minute, but I know I've got so many um, people listening in, and I don't know that much about you, you know, I can't get that feedback of who you are, and, and, and that's, it's nice to do that. But however, you know, I, I look at you and I think, well, look at my audience, and I know what you do want. You want to achieve a level of success in your life. You know, you want a business that gives you that, just like I did, you know, that freedom to spend time with your family to be able to do what you want. And, <clears throat> excuse me, you are working hard. You know, you might not be exactly where you want to be yet, but you've set your mind on achieving something. And there's not many people. Many people want the success and they want the lifestyle and they want the money. But a lot of people will go home and switch the television on at night. And to be sat here at 8 o'clock at night on a bank holiday weekend, do you call them bank holiday in the US? A holiday weekend. You know, it takes a lot of commitment to do that and to keep getting on the internet and to keep plugging away and doing your sales pages and to keep trying and to keep learning. You know, I can understand what you want, so I want to be able to try and help you do that. Okay, so the first thing, I want to try and gauge where I'm going to pitch this for the rest of the evening because there's many things I can talk about and I've kind of planned out the presentation for you, but I can always switch slightly off, focus a little bit more on something else. So if you could just type in the chat box for me and give me some idea of where you're at at the moment. Give me some um, problems that you have and let me know some of the things that's holding you back or some of the frustrations you found, just to give me a feel for, for where you're at. If you could just type in the chat box for me, I'd really appreciate that. And I think I can flick that open here, can't I, and have a look. Okay, so let's have a look what people are typing. Hello, we've got Larry. Okay, All right, we're getting some good questions coming in here, okay. Difficult to meet business owners. Okay, um, sorry, T A U K. I can't see the rest of your name. I'm sorry. Um, I missed that one. Difficult to meet business owners. What do you mean in terms of getting in front of them so you can talk to them? I'm trying to get my first few clients. Okay. Very difficult to get their attention. That's a good one. Okay, just starting out in offline. I've found a couple of different offline types of consulting. Yes, there's, there's different styles, and I think it's more down to personality than that. Um, trying to break it free. Very soon offline marketing. You've got a full-time job. Well, that's difficult for you as well. Difficult to make business owners. Okay, so we've got some brilliant comments coming in there. Thank you very much. Let's have a look. Making it important for them. Demonstrate value without proof of results. Do you mean um, your own results on that question, if you could just clarify that for me? They all want to see what you've done in the past, okay, yeah? Yes, okay, thanks Tom. Brilliant, right, okay. Well, let's just move on to the next slide, and that feedback's been great, and you know, we've got questions at the end, I'll try and answer as many questions as I can as well, so even if I didn't acknowledge what you've put in there, we'll, we'll come back to that later. Okay, so these are the main problems that I tend to pick up people have with offline marketing. I don't want to sit here and read them all out to you because I've got 
a lot of the slides to go through. So as I'm just chatting here, if you have a read through these and I'll just pick a few out. Um, but we're getting through in the chat box, aren't we? It's the trouble getting clients, not sure what to say, getting in front of people, um, getting them to see that you can add value to your business to, to demonstrate that before they actually commit and, and work with you. Okay, and, and maybe that some of that comes down to lack of confidence. I know a lot of people do. Um, let's have a look. There's anything else that pops in the box? Struggling to get people interested. Um, we've got somebody there who's got a full-time job as well, but they want to get into offline. So that's going to be really hard work for you, isn't it? So I think I've covered a fair few of them there. But like I said, if you've got any burning questions, we'll come back to those later, all right? So this, what I see on the internet, now I'm not trying to diss, if that's the right word. I'm not trying to say everything you see about offline marketing on the internet is wrong. But I don't like what I see in terms of everyone making this offline marketing model very rah, rah, rah. And they'll say, we've got this great strategy for getting offline businesses. And I think it's led a lot of people down the road of um, just picking out one strategy and going with it because they haven't got the background knowledge so they're taking on board the couple of strategies people are putting out there and selling as, as, as training and what have you. And then, then they're feeling a bit stuck because it's not working for them. And that's because there's a lot more that goes behind that. This usual model that you see in posturing around the internet, it's, it's just not washing with business owners. It's not, that's because it's not really in alignment with the values. And you've got to understand, I see, I know this, I've stood in a retail business for four years, you get sick of being sold to and you would not believe how many phone calls and emails and people walking through the door you get. <clears throat> Excuse me, as a small business owner, it's just amazing. You seem to be this open target for everyone trying to sell stuff to you, like SEO, websites, all that kind of stuff. You know, shutters, <laughs> tills, that kind of thing. Excuse me. <coughs> um, you know, and if you're doing that kind of thing, if you're getting on the phone to them, if you're pestering them, you're an interruption to the day. And if that's what you're doing, you're not going to impress small business owners with your marketing ability because you're just saying, well, I'm a salesperson. And to be able to work with a small business owner, you've got to be more than that. You know, you're not providing the right level of professionalism for that um, small business owner to, to engage with you. Um, and that's because you've got to know your target. You, you've not got to treat them like another sign-up. And this is going back to the mindset of the usual model of, of internet marketing. We've got to come away from that completely. We've got to drop everything you know that you've learned online about, you know, quick, fast, get them signed up, we're heavy, rah, 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 we've got another sign-up. It's not like that anymore at all. This is more like sit back in your chair and put your slippers on tight marketing okay <laughs> um, so we want to get to the point where we want to have a sensible conversation with a business person and that is the most effective way of working with small business owners and, you know and this old internet marketing model of selling is outdated um, that's how selling used to be 10 15 years ago you know the hard sell and you see now it's it's dropping it, it's disappearing now online as well it's had its day almost and it's becoming much more of a personable thing because um, we've all got very different values and this you know the way the internet is and social media we've all got these personalities and we all want our needs met and we all have very many different needs so this really is becoming um, the hard sell the push is just becoming so outdated now so I want you to get away from all that <coughs> because you can't run a professional business like this and what I hope um, that you want out of this is that you do want to create, you know, you're not you just want a few sales from it, you want to create a professional business. Um, you've got to start doing things differently if you do, you know, if you just will say, well, I just want to make a bit of money out of it, so now fine, go and carry on, you know, go into the businesses, phone them up and carry on doing what you're doing. But if you want to build a long-term business, you know, a business where it gives you the freedom like we've already discussed, a business where um, you can give up your job, somebody said before, a business where it's easy and <clears throat> a business where you're getting paid for just helping people. You know, you have got to start doing things differently. Um, think about the 
small business owners mm -hmm. and they're not just there for you to sell to. Having said that, these small business owners, 90, 95% of them do need professional help, but mm -hmm. they don't need salespeople. And the thing mm -hmm. is, you, you'll learn as you get to know these small business owners. They are quite naive in the way that they set up the business, and I see so many of them do it time and time and time again. They've had a job for years, and then suddenly have this burning ambition to have their own business and do whatever it is they want to do. And they'll remortgage the house, or they'll get a redundancy, or they'll get an inheritance and go, right, I'm going to set up my own business. And it's been such a passion for them and so much in the mind that they go and start this business without any thought as to who might want to buy from them. They're just like, this is my business. So they, they start the business off on the wrong foot. They don't have the marketing plans. They don't have the strategies in place. And what most of the small business owners do is they open the doors every month and hope for the best. Um, and considering what they've got invested in the business, that's quite shocking, you know, because some people, like the whole family depends on the success of the business. You know, you feed your children off your business. Um, so they need this help, but it's got to be professional. You've got to be able to give these people real solutions, not just turn up there and say, hi, you know, we've got some great Facebook strategies going on today. If you give me £100 a month, we'll sort that out for you. So what we've got to have is, just like with a real business, a real business model, we've got to have some structure to what we do. We've got to have processes in place. And we've got to have some in-depth marketing knowledge, more than over and above what you pick up off the internet that you see in, in the general um, marketing model. It's got to be a little bit deeper than that. And I understand that and I'm quite happy to train people to do that. And when I made this course, that's one thing that I included in there as well because I want people to... I am actually professionally qualified in, in um, marketing and the very corporate way of doing it is so boring. And I think with me, because I can take the business side of it and the corporate side of it and mix it, I think you get the best. But you do need to have that in-depth level, that that fundamental level um, is really helpful to, to you so you can do this, okay? And what this other business model is all about is leading them in a direction. It's not push, it's not pull, it's leading. And what, you know, if you have the structure, the processes, the knowledge, you can help them do that, okay? okay? So, what I want to share with you and what I want to give you, first of all, is a way to get rid of all your problems. I hope that you find that really useful. I want to share with you ways to consistently attract loyal and high-paying clients, um, ways to make working with offline clients incredibly easy for you, um, share with you how to position yourself as a professional and as an, an authority, as an expert, um, and I want to share with you uh, what you really need to do with offline clients to get them signed up, um, give you um, some knowledge of the marketing process, so that you can have the confidence and that you can have the right mindset and on how to sell this service to them without being pushy and without any hype involved in this well. And I want you to be able to get rid of all the hidden doubts and fears that are holding you back and this lack of confidence, thinking, oh, I'm not sure if I'm good enough or I'm not sure if I know enough and I'm scared of doing this in case. So I want to get rid of all that for you as well. Okay? So let's get on. So, the very best business model if you're working with offline clients, consulting, not selling, okay? So we're looking at now, we're in a position now where we're in the offline marketing niche, but we're a consultant, we're not selling to them, okay? And the difference is just doing things in a different way. It's not they're there to, for me to make money out of, I'm there to serve them. I'm going to solve a problem for them. And this is just new ways of doing things, new ways of thinking. The only thing I would say is that you've got to be willing to invest some time in this. It is not as pushed button as internet marketing. And it may be totally different from what you've been used to. Um, but when you can switch your thinking, um, switch the way you do things, um, switch the way you act, you can become very quickly actually, um, this consultant type person rather than a sales person and that puts you in a totally different position and that then changes your, the position of your business and changes everything around for you, okay? 
So, the benefits of being a consultant, well, there's that many, there's two pages of this, okay? So, you've got a more relaxed business model and a way of working, it's nice for me to go out and meet people over coffee, you know, some of my clients we meet over coffee now, and, and that's a nice way of doing it, there's no precious selling involved, there's not a long drawn out process to convert, and I'll show you a little bit more about that as we get into the training tonight. No product creation involved, unless you're going to do what I do. Um, you don't really need a great big email list to to get um, a lot from this because there's a really high conversion rate. Um, there's no resistance from people like you have with salespeople because salespeople, they walk into a business, first thing you want to do, you see a salesperson, you want to get rid of them. Um, so there's no resistance to you. People do want to listen to you. You know, your advice is welcome. You know, it's like, tell me, tell me more. You know, and, and that's a real good level to be at. You're going to have the time and the freedom, you know, and I was um, here and now we're there, meeting here, meeting there, doing something else on the way to that meeting, a couple of meetings a day. It's a nice way to live. Okay, and perceptions of you increased, you know, um, that trust factor will be suddenly instantly there for you. Excuse me, just take a breath. Um, so, being a consultant, when you work in this um, process of signing up your customers, it's more like having a long conversation than using a sales script. You've got no major overheads, it's easy to run from home, which is exactly what I do. Um, all I need is my laptop, I don't need any other equipment involved. Um, most of my clients, I set up with a recurring monthly income rather than say take a large amount of them in one go. Um, I take a recurring monthly income, and I'll show you how to do that as well. That's one big strategy I put in here for you towards the end. Um, a lot less work involved, little selling involved, and you don't need as many clients. You can easily earn hundred thousand pounds a year with um, ten to twenty clients. You can do it with even less than that, it depends on how much you charge them. But in my course, I actually break this down for you so you can get yourself a goal going and target and use them work those numbers. But I haven't got the time tonight, I'm sorry. But basically, the benefits of being a consultant, the absolute um, ultimate benefit is you earn more money. And you do it easier, so what could be better? Okay. So, all you need to be able to do to be a consultant is to be able to help your clients get what they want. And when you can position yourself as being something that people want, you never have to do any selling. People come to you, and you think about that in your life. If there's something you want, if there's a product you're designing, you know, you've know, you seen it, you must have it, you go and buy it. You don't need any salesperson to tell you how great it is. You just want to give me, give me, there's my money, and off you go. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm really sorry about that. So that's where we want you to be. You're an expert. You help people, and it's you're a trusted advisor. That's what I call myself more than anything. I, I would class myself rather than expert and authority. I use the term trusted advisor. I like that term. It's kind of how can I help you? What do you need help achieving? And this process is it, it's quite in depth. There's a there's a lot involved in um because we're going deep within a business and we're going down to fundamentals and marketing. So when you look at it, you can think, gosh, there's a lot here and you, you, you can get yourself into a bit of overwhelm, especially with this change in mindset. So what I always advise people to do is to keep this in its simplest form. And I'll tell you, as I've worked it over the years, the simplest form that you can break this down to is this, okay? Where are you now? Where are you now, Mr. Business Owner? Where do you want to be? Okay. Once you know those two things, all you've got to deal with is the bit in the middle, which is how you're going to get in there. That's the bit you're focusing on as a marketing consultant. But obviously, there's a lot more to do before you get to that stage. All right. So the easiest stage is at the end. To get to that end stage, is a lot more involved. It's not difficult. It's just time consuming. Needs your commitment to make it work. Okay, so making the change from a salesperson to a consultant, different approach and a different perspective. Okay, gotta let go of the current way of doing things and invest the time in yourself to learn the process and the techniques. Number one rule to live by: people might think this is a bit um, of a bad attitude of mine, but it's not. It's a good way of working. You do not, do not go knocking on doors 
or volunteering any services or offering any services to anybody. People come to you. And that's as simple as that. That's the way it is. I turn a lot of clients away. <coughs> Excuse me. People yeah. think that's quite shocking, but yeah. I've just I've got so many people on at the minute. I can't work with them. So I always say, oh, gosh, turning clients away. It's a nice position to be in, isn't it? Where you you know you've got that much on that you you just can't work with enough people and you can't get around with enough people. But you do not go knocking on doors because that just knocks you, swipes your positioning off you straight away. Okay. So let's look at some steps to make the change. What do you need to do to change from being a salesperson to being a consultant? Or rather, to, to take into consideration some of the people who haven't even started yet from being where you are now to becoming a consultant. Okay? So number one, we've got to look at positioning. You've got to position yourself right within the market. Think about um, a salesperson, the ten a penny, they're always around everywhere. Look at an expert. There's not many experts, and they're revered, aren't they? People go to them for information, and they are those trusted advisors. Um, you look at doctors, the white coats. You see so many scams being pulled because somebody put a white coat on and they believe them. But it just goes to show you the level of perceptions that people work with um, when it comes to positioning. So that's one um, of the steps involved in making the change to being a consultant. Okay. Number two is working on your mindset, because although you might set yourself up in all the right places, um, you might get yourself published in magazines and what have you, if you haven't got that right mindset to back it up, that right level of confidence, um, you know, you might be saying to yourself, well, I've never done marketing, like myself, I'm, I'm qualified in marketing and I've, I've held marketing manager positions for a long time. Um, you might think, well, I haven't got the, you know, the credentials to, to class myself as a marketer. We, that's fine. It doesn't matter because people are more concerned about what you can do for them, not your credentials. So we've got to get away from um, uh, what's going, the doubts and fears and, and lack of confidence in your mind. We've got to say, look, this is what's needed. As long as you can do this, you can go out quite confidently and be this trusted advisor, this expert, this authority, this marketing maverick who's going to walk into a business and be able to make it work, to be able to put profit growth in, to be able to turn the business around, okay? Sorry, I've got a frog in my throat tonight. Okay, number three, we've got to learn the skill to be able to go into a business and spot the opportunities for profit. And we've got to be able to leverage every part of that business. And I'm going to touch on a little bit of that towards the end because um, I think it's a real big if, if you can, if you can, there's a word for it. What's the word you um, guys use? Um, if you can skim over the rest and just do this one bit, you, you'll get somewhere. Okay, so I'll put that in at the end for you. Um, and you need know how to be everywhere you need to be. There's certain places you need to be positioned. Um, to be seen as the consultant, to be seen as an authority. Learn the consultative selling process, which is a slightly different process to selling. It's still, you're following a structure, you're following the steps, you're still drawing them in, um, but it's, it's, a, it's a different level of selling process. You've got to learn that too. And you've got to tighten up on your marketing skills. I talked about the fundamental principles of, mar principles of marketing. You've got to get these under your belt and have them working away in your mind. So every time you look at something, you go, oh gosh, and you can instantly see like a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars worth of profit not doing anything, and you can spot things straight away. Well, that comes with practice, but once you learn these fundamental principles, your brain does start working that way, and I try and make it easy. I call them things like marketing by numbers and um, little formulas so that people find it easy to learn. And once you've got those little formulas running around in your head, you know, you suddenly start gaining that confidence. So it's all, uh, it all builds on top of each other, okay? And of course then you've got to set it all up in your business, you know, because you do need um, to have some kind of evidence there saying this is my business, because people like to have that um, base, you know, to see you've got something behind you, even if it's just a website, okay? So if you can't go chasing clients or knocking on doors, 
how much it gets clients. Okay. Well, we're going to do some consultative selling. I'm going to do some clever marketing. So let's take a look at that now. I'm just checking the time here. About how are we doing for time, Rich? Are we doing okay? Rich? No, oh, it's gone. Right, okay, well, I'll make it there. Okay, right. I, I, I'm here. I'm sorry. I was <laughs> okay. answering questions in the background. What's up? How are we doing for time? And how is everyone oh, taking everything on board at this point? Is everything... Okay. Yeah, you know everything's doing fine. Um, she's uh, people are just loving you. Uh, they they've got all kinds of questions. Uh, they're okay. look, they're looking forward to it. So yeah, right now we're at about thirty three minutes into it. How long do you want to spend? Because folks, well, let me ask you this: uh, How's she doing? Uh, this is like one of her first webinars. You want to punch in and tell me a one? She's doing okay for you. Ed, guess what? Ah, oh, there we go. Great. She's saying great. Jimmy says great. Elaine's saying great. Jimmy, that's all. Okay. Uh, all right. Good. So, uh, uh, how about 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 another uh, about another thirty minutes then? Twenty thirty minutes. Brilliant. Brilliant. Super. Okay. Good. Twenty thirty okay. minutes. We good? Brilliant. Okay. Okay. Brilliant. It was good. Rock on. I'm here. Okay. Thanks, Rich. I, I'm doing the background. So go ahead. Okay. All right, guys. Um, thanks for bearing with me there. Well, I just want to check in what, what we're doing on time and what have you. Okay, so let's look at some consultative selling techniques and some clever marketing. I've got about half an hour now to share stuff with you, and I've still got another God knows how many slides to cover here. So let's see how we can do with this. Okay, what is consultative selling and how do you do it? Okay, well, it's nothing more than having a structure to the way you do things um, and positioning yourself as a trusted advisor, just like a doctor who will sit down with his patient and he diagnoses the problem and prescribes um, prescribes medicine. You do that with a business. You sit down and diagnose what's going on, look at the problems, and you prescribe a solution and, and to fix that and to make the business better. And it's strange to say it's selling without selling, you are going to sign people up and you're going to be selling to lots of people, but there's no real what people determine as, as selling involved in this. And that comes with um, a continual demonstration of your excellence. You really have got to walk the walk. If you're going to be a marketing consultant, and sometimes I kick myself because it can be a little bit lazy when it comes to paperwork and keeping the website updated and it's like naughty Amanda. You know, but you have got to have that continual demonstration there. And put yourself in that position of trust and authority, you are that expert. Now, this might seem a bit bitty to you, like you might think, well, you're not actually telling me anything here, but it's very difficult to tell you any other way because you've got to, when you pull these together, they work together. You know, you can't just do half of it and not do the other half. It's kind of like um, ingredients for making a cake almost, you know, if you... Um, put all the ingredients in right, the right level at the right time and, and followed all the instructions correctly, you've got a beautiful cake that everyone wants to eat. If you miss some bits out, nobody wants it. You know, it, it's that kind of fine line kind of stuff. And it's all coming together, trust me, okay? So we've got to be really tight on business and marketing strategy to do this too. We've got to be spot on because you're the expert. So we've got to have the processes in place within the business. You've got to have that structure within your business. You've got to have the positioning within your business. And you've got to work with the right people too because if you're not working with the right people, this is going to be hard work for you. There are some business owners who, who, are quite happy, who prefer to be right um, who would prefer to be skinned, uh, is that a, do you use that term in America? Prefer to have a lack of money and, and be right. They say, well, I'm right, I know my business. You don't want to work with those type of people. You're working with people who are totally receptive to having someone work alongside them and say, look, let's sit down and let's get your business to where we want it to be, okay? It's incredibly strategic. And it's not pulling and it's not pushing, you know, but there's a lot of pushing and pulling at the moment on um, inbound, outbound marketing on the internet. It's leading. You're leading them somewhere and you're taking them on this journey. And you're in control of that because with all the techniques and fundamentals of marketing and, and structures that you have in place, 
that's all like a pathway that you've created for them, okay? And you've got all your little bits where you jump in in between on the path along and you're getting them to where you want them to be. It's like little signs saying, go this way, go this way, to eventually you get them to where you want them to be. Okay, I hope that makes sense. It's a little difficult to explain until you see it all in practice, and I just haven't got the time to run through it all tonight. So, consultative selling, it seems a bit, I'm not sure what you're saying to me here, but it is so easy. Okay, I'll give you some steps. There's lots of steps involved. I'm just trying to give you as much as possible. Tell me to slow down if I'm going too fast. Okay, step one. I want to be everywhere in the right places where you're um, client bases and not just where your client base is. We want to be where people um, who would be working alongside you. Now, you know things like JV, JV partners that you have on, in your internet marketing. You think about um, a local accountants, the local printers. They've got a database of thousands and thousands of, of local businesses and they know um, whether a local business is currently running a campaign, whether a local business is um, struggling to make money, whether they're doing well, whether the growth stage of the business. You know, um, if you're seen with all these right people and, um, like, um, sorry, excuse me, the um, business clubs, the, the managers of these clubs, I've done quite well out of, you know, I said they don't like the corporate world, but Brother, Brother UK, you know, the sewing machine scene and printer people, um, I'm quite well up with a few people in Brother UK. But because they're on the circuit, this corporate circuit, who try and get involved in the local business, you know, like your city will have a, a backup of, of um, um, in provision for local businesses, small businesses, to help the development and regeneration of your area. You know, if you're with those top people in the councils who are, you know, the tenant penny and they're just there for um, no reason, they're ineffective. But even if they're just there to pass your name on. So it's not just the right businesses you need to be in front of, it's the right people that you're mixing with and seeing with all the time. It doesn't mean you have to hang around with them, but it's, uh, you, you know, there's ways of doing that. Okay, so you're going to have the right people talking about you. And it's letting other people do the selling for you. And of course, there's all the strategies to make this happen, but like I said, I haven't got the time to share it all with you. So that you are perceived as the expert, the authority, and this advisor, you know, you're in this advisory role and somebody comes up in conversation and needs to do this, well, let's go and talk to this person because they know exactly what they're doing. You're the first thing on people's minds when it comes to the subject. Okay. Step two um, is a simple funnel that you're making in your business. There's no complicated funnel involved there. Some people call it marketing pipeline, some people call it a sales funnel. Same thing, okay? You've just got to make sure you're attracting the right people in there and the people are constantly being drawn into you, which we all know a marketing funnel does. And it's a qualifying funnel as well. It's if you, then, you know. So you're getting rid of the wrong people and you're keeping the right people with you all the way along, okay? Step three, step back. So that by the time people come to you, you know they're a hot prospect. So what you're doing is you're drawing them into you. Yeah? Um, You've not done anything to get them there apart from you've set up this journey for them, this pathway, you know, with the signs on it to say if you, you know, if you want this, if you want this, keep coming this way. Um, and when they get to you, when they reach you at the end, they're a very, very hot prospect. You know, there's, you know, you've really narrowed down. You've got rid of all the rubbish. You've got rid of all the time wasters. You've got people come to you in business, um, and that means they're much more likely to convert. Um, I know that internet marketing sales figures can be, conversion figures can be some, anything from 1% to 5%, 10% is, is supposed to be amazing, isn't it? But I would quote, I know you might not believe me, um, but I'll quote it because it's true, 90% conversion, okay? Because um, they're inviting you to go and see them, they're seeking you out, and they spent so much time watching and observing and being told how great you are and, and understanding how great you are, they want to work with you now, okay? So that's just three of the steps. There's a lot more involved. There's a lot more involved to set those up. Um, but let me just show you the sales funnel. So it's, it's no different to a basic sales funnel that you see in internet marketing. You've got your traffic, going to your opt-in pages, 
All your option pages are very, very simple. There's nothing complicated there. It's all about growing your business, getting more customers, making more sales, making more profit. Okay? You've got your self-qualifying techniques and strategies within the content that you're giving to them. Self-qualifying techniques, I'll explain that on the next um, slide. Um, you've got the next level, but once you've been, once they've been through the funnel a few times and they've watched a few videos or read a few reports, so they've got further down and they've identified, they've made it, they've identified themselves to you as to where they are in that funnel because you've set this funnel up and you're watching where they go with it. Okay, so you're allowed to get them to fill in an application form to deal with you or to come and talk to you or you have a phone call with them to qualify them just to clarify that last, just to make sure that when you go on an appointment, which is the next step, that they're not going to be wasting your time and that they're ready to buy and they're ready to do business with you. Okay, so it's either an application form or a quick 10 minute phone call just to say, okay, thanks for getting in touch what is it you need help with, okay, and then you make the appointment. So you go along on your appointment, you do a marketing audit, you do further qualification with them, you find out all about the business, you find out where they are now, where they want to go, and once you've got those two pieces of information, you can then, believe it or not, with all the processes you've got, and the fundamentals of marketing and all the techniques, all you need to do is go, okay, so we'll do this, we'll do that, we'll do this, we'll do that, and all of a sudden you've got them right where they want to be, and that is as simple as being a consultant, okay? So you close them and you get paid. Okay, self-qualifying techniques and strategies. We said from the last slide there, let me just flip back for you. Um, this here, self-qualifying techniques and strategies that you're going to have within your marketing. When you do your marketing prop properly, you get this right, and it's all down to doing the research and the analysis properly, and doing the preparation, using the tools like the marketing mix, and it's all about designing your business around the clients. And what we tend to find, uh, and this is kind of, it's like a concept now almost with this internet marketing, and it's all gone horribly wrong because everyone's so keen on jump into the end bit, the fun bit, and let's see how many sign-ups we get. People forget to do the clear fundamentals. Now, these are foundations, and the stronger your foundations, the, the, the stronger the foundations you put in place in terms of your marketing, the fundamentals that you do, the less work you have to do afterwards, because you've already put everything into place. And this is difficult to explain without you seeing everything um, in all its form and all its glory, um, but you've you've got to do this marketing right. Um, you've got to create it in a way so that the prospect is calling find himself. So you've got to put all those prompts in there, and you, so you're making your marketing so tight because he's saying all the time, you're saying yes, that's me. This person understands me, and that is what I want. And it seems as though everything you do is just written for him, okay, and you're kind of bouncing around all the time with every interaction he has with you, and, and he's seeing things about you, and he's, he's hearing things about you, and then he's seen something that you've written, and he's received an email from you, and you've not done anything to try and sell anything to him, you've just been an advisor, but you're planting things in his mind all the time, but it's kind of prompting him and getting that thought process going, I need to talk to this person, and it just plants, plants, um, like little seeds that nobody can see, but they start germinating in his mind, and eventually he comes to you, okay, so I hope you understand that, I'm trying to, because there's no way I could show you the whole process and give you each feature, so I'm just trying to run down the whole process so that you'll pick something out of it. Of course, ask me questions in a bit when we when we when we finish, okay? But well, going back to the funnel, where we've got to a point where they've come to us, they've phoned you up, um, or they've filled in the application form on your website. You know that you've now got some really strongly qualified people in front of you, 
and they qualify because they self qualify themselves. You've not had the, to convince them to do anything. You've just put how to do information, you've been helpful, you've been that advisor, the trust has been built, he now knows you, he likes you, he knows that you're on the circuit, he knows that you're an established um, authority in the area. So he's come to you, he knows that you can help him. Um, you know they want to grow the business because they kept following the process. Nobody will listen to what you're going to say to them if, if they're not got that level of interest there. And they've come to you, they're interested in what you've got to say, and it's now you can start talking to them, which I hope now, as you can see by this time, why you don't need a great deal of credentials to get to this point where you can have a conversation with them, because once you understand how to do <clears throat> excuse me, set the fundamentals of marketing in place so they're working away for your planting and they're bringing him down the line without have you having to um, stand in front of him and, and be worried that you might say something wrong. It's now you can talk to him and I'm going to show you now how, um, I'm going to go deep into this next bit, <clears throat> excuse me, so that you can see um, a, a part where I keep saying we'll go deep into it and there's more behind it, but I've not given you anything behind it yet, but I'm going to do this now and I thought this would be the most valuable for you, okay? So, it's not a sales call, if you're going to pick up the phone, all it is, is he'll phone you, or you'll phone him because he's filled in a form, and you just pick up the phone and say, hi, love to speak to you, thanks for getting in touch, tell me what's going on. Okay, what's going on in your business? What is it you want to achieve in the next 12 months? Okay, and just have no more than a 10 minute conversation, all right? Let him tell you what he's seen about you, let him tell you he'll have the basic, you know, I want to do this in my business, this has been going on, we've found that we've had a lack of sales, um, we've struggled with the high street not being as, he'll have something there that he's got to tell you, and then he'll tell you what it is that he wants to achieve in the next 12 months, you know, or, or definitely need to get some more customers in my business. So just a 10 minute conversation there is going to help you gauge, just to double check now that you're not going to go out on an appointment when you're wasting your time. You're going out on an appointment and you definitely know that you're going out there to help him. Okay? So that's just that last step there, that telephone conversation that you're going to have with him. But it's not a sales call, you're not doing any selling, you just want to find out where he is, what he wants to achieve, and then fix the appointment time and date, okay? So, excuse me, I'm going to cough again. <coughs> right. It's two o'clock in the morning, so that's my excuse. Okay. So, we're going to go out on an appointment, and there's a process to this as well, okay? You're going to collate information, you're going to analyze his business now, because you want to be able to work out some key figures here. You want his total marketing spend, you want revenue generated, you want customer numbers, new customer numbers, um, what he's lost, how many he's got on average, um, costs of acquiring the customer, you want to be looking for patterns in the business, you want average spends in the business, and you'll do that with qualification. Now I've got big sheets of qualification full of thousands of questions that show you, um, give you examples of what you need to ask, and that depends on what conversation you had with him previously, okay? Because you know, gauge roughly where you're going. Um, but this little piece here, this marketing audit, I'm showing you now, but you can see this is um, a, a copy of the actual document. So it's been copied and pasted, so half of it's missing. Oh, what's going on? Excuse me, sorry. Let me uh, get you back up here, where were we? There we go from current slides. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, so, you can see there, it says current marketing. What have you done so far in terms of marketing, promoting the business? This is a marketing audit, just like an accountant goes in a business and does an audit and makes sure all the books have been done properly and everything's um, where it should be and everything's accounted for. This is um, a marketing audit. And what you're trying to do here is find out exactly what's going on in his business. But more than what he'll tell you in terms of saying, we haven't got enough sales, or it's the high street's fault, or it's the car parts because he's charging too much for parking, or it's the big new shop down the road 
That's what he might tell you is the problem, but it's obviously going to be a lot deeper than that, the problem. And, and every solution, every you know, this gap you've got to fill, you've got to get him from where he is now to where he wants to be. All this stuff you have to do in the middle, the answers are going to be in his business somewhere. Okay, so there's no clever stuff we need to go out and put tech services in place or anything daft like that yet. We've got to look at what's going on in the business and what we can change to start generating that revenue, that profit, and seeing that movement. Okay, so I've done it again. Sorry. Oh, I don't know what's happening here, Rich. Can you help me out for a minute? I'm here. What, what would you like for me to do? Something I've left off, that's the end of the slideshow, but it's not the end of the slideshow. Okay, then go to the next one. Just go ahead and make it full. And but I have to go it. back to the slide every time I click yeah. next. That's all right. There we go. Just go. Oh, sorry. Here you go. <clears throat> sorry about that. I have to do it this way. Um, I thought it was going too smoothly. <laughs> Hey, you're doing great. Hey, by the okay, way, so Amanda, take, take, yeah? a, take a deep breath. Let me tell you something. I'm very, very impressed. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm very impressed, and I'll tell you why. You're touching on Bye. some points that people need when they go out there, and, and, and they go out and they either do cold calls or, or they're going out there to just solicit new business, and how they do it is very important. You know, it's, it's very important because... People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And what exactly. you're doing is you're showing us uh, uh, ideas and how to take control, how to dot the I's and cross the T's, and it's wonderful, wonderful stuff. And everybody is uh, in the question box, and I'm looking at that right now. Um, it's they're, they're glad. And, you know, we do have some questions, uh, which we'll get to in just a couple of minutes. But okay. everybody's saying, like Frank White says, very good points. And so everybody's there. So um, somebody's saying maybe you put the slide in the wrong sequence. But you know what? That's, that's okay. Uh, that means they're paying attention. So you ready yeah. to go on? Yeah. Okay, so we have to keep clicking back to my thingy, right. then we'll just bear with it, okay? Gotcha. So I'll try and keep it All right. flowing for you. All right. Okay, so going back to this marketing audit, what you're going to do, when I'm on the program, on the course, there's about 30 um, printouts and documents that I use in my business that are included in the course, because obviously for someone who wants to get going with the business very fast, you don't want to have to start doing all this yourself. So it's all done for you, okay? So what you do is you sit down with the business owner, so right, Mr. Business Owner, um, tell me, um, what marketing have you done in your business in the last 12 months? And you take a list of everything. I've done it for you as a problem there, because there'll be things on there that the um, owner doesn't always consider to be marketing. Say, for example, getting business cards printed or doing some networking campaign to go to a networking event. He might not consider that as, as a marketing cost, but it is. Okay? And then um, you see some columns in there. You know, How do you measure it? How often do you do it? How much does it cost you? And how effective do you find it, Mr. Business Owner? Okay. Now, I can tell you from experience that a lot of these questions that you're asking him, he's not going to be able to answer. And I'll tell you why. And it goes back to what I said to you at the very beginning about business owners. They tend to um, open the doors in the morning of the business and hope they're going to have a good day and hope they're going to get enough customers in and think and they get to the end of the month and think oh, I've got to pay my rent and I need another thousand dollars you know they really do live um, quite badly like this they, you know do behave in this way and what you're doing with this marketing audit and this marketing qualification that you do on this appointment stage is you've gone into his business you've been invited into the business Okay, he is positioning you as someone revered as like a doctor, you know, you're an expert, you've gone in there as an authority. Um, and he is, he is the tentative to what you've got to say. So when you say something like, okay, um, let's have a look at, do you do an, um, um, any promotional events, Mr. Business Owner? Oh, yes, you do a few. Okay, great. How do you measure those, the effectiveness of those? Um, well, we don't. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. What you're doing with that is you're showing him he's got a gap in his business. Okay. And him saying that to you, well, we don't. You know he's got a gap there. So you can jump straight in there and change that and make more money for him. Okay. In that gap. If you make a change there, you're suddenly going to make more money in his business. And he is seeing that you are pulling out gaps in his business. But without you saying, oh, you should be doing this. Well, you should be doing that. Which is condescending and all wrong and the wrong way of doing it. By just saying, well, how often do you do that? How much does that cost you every year? Well, I don't actually know. Okay, he should know. These are crucial, crucial numbers. Yeah? And you, you're picking out gaps all the way. And in his mind, he's going, I should be doing that. I should be doing that. I should be doing that. So you almost subconsciously telling him he's got major problems in his business, which of course you're stood there like a knight in shiny armor, obviously demonstrating that you know how to look into a business and, and find where the problems are, and everything is just rolling along here really nicely for you. You're not doing any selling, you're not doing anything to try and persuade him, okay? You're just finding all about all everything that goes on in his business. So there's a lot more on this list because, like I said, I just copied and pasted it from the document, okay? Another thing you're going to be doing is you're going to be adding up everything he spends on his marketing, okay? And you're going to say to him, okay, Mr. Business Owner, oh, it worked this time, look. <laughs> um, you're going to be saying, look, you know, so you spent around $12,000 on marketing last year, Mr. Business Owner? And he's probably going to fall over because he's not going to realize just how much money he has spent on marketing, because um, he's just not realized that the networking event, the adverts, he builds up business cards, they've got thousand leaflets off the box, he's still sat in the storeroom because they've never given it out, you know, that kind of thing. And you're going to shock him, okay? But more than that, so he's going to be looking at you with starry eyed thinking, oh my goodness, what are you doing here? You know, you've really got him under control now and leading him to where you want him to be. But you also know now at this stage, you know exactly where they are because having had this hours sit down with them and asking lots of things about the business, you now know exactly where they are. Okay? It's not just, oh, there's a big supermarket opens up the road and it's stopping us and it's affected ourselves. That's got nothing to do with it. Okay? Well, it might have, but we can, we can overcome that. That's no problem. But you know where they are now. You know where all the gaps are in the business, where all the problems are. And you know exactly where they want to go. Because you said to them, well, look, you know, you've really honed down on that. Well, what is it you want to achieve in the next 12 months? That's one of, been one of your qualifying questions, you know. And you've got, the, got him to go, and, and, and what do you mean by that? And, and get deeper into that question. So you're really pulling out everything. Why he wants to do it. You know, what his original plans were, how he thinks he's going to achieve that. So you can gauge some kind of ways out on that. But you know where they are now, you know where they want to go. So as I said to you before, you know those two things. And the basics of being a marketing consultant is where are they now, where do they want to go, and you've just got to fill in the gaps. Okay? So you've just done your entire job. Where are they now, where do they want to go? You've asked them all the questions, you know where the gaps are, and now you just have to fill them in. Okay? So, simple as that. So, I hope you found that strategy really useful. And I've rushed through it again because, like I said, I've got a lot of content here. But I wanted to go deeper into that for you. And this marketing processes and doing all these little tricks and saying, well, there's more behind it. This is the kind of thing we're doing when we're marketing and we're using the fundamental principles of marketing and we're going deeper into having this marketing knowledge. We're going um, into numbers and um, I call it marketing by numbers and a few things I've titled marketing by numbers it's because people can't argue with numbers you know you can say oh well I don't want a Facebook sales page or I don't want this or I don't want that or I've tried that that's no good but if you're doing something you've got numbers nobody can argue with at all. Okay, because he's just going to look stupid if he does anyway okay but having all this information it makes your job totally easily. Where are they now? Where do they want to go? You found all the holes in the business and you've just got to fill in the gaps now. So let's hope this next page is over for us. Excuse me. Ta -da. So there's a little diagram of where they are now, where you want them to be, okay? And that little arrow there is <laughs> all you have to do is fill in that gap, all right? 
that's my little diagram for you. Mm. Okay, and that's easy for you to do now because you're fully qualified business owner. You've audited the business, well, it's marketing, so you know exactly what's going on in this business. You've had a good look at the business, you've had a good look at the office, the retail situation, you've met some staff. You know, you've got a real feel for him, you've built up the rapport with him, he's been impressed with you um, because, you know, he's seen all this online, he's followed you, he's seen your emails, he's read an article about which you, somebody's recommended you, you've gone into his business and you've backed up his entire perception of you as being a professional because you've not sold, tried to sell him anything, you've not suggested he have anything at this stage yet, have you? You've probably been with him for 40, 50 minutes at this stage. Okay, and all you're doing is looking for opportunities to increase the business now. Now, in the training, we we'll look at all the main areas you need to focus on. You can do it with your eyes closed, you know, walk in the business and go, I know, but before I walk, I didn't even ask any questions. They're going to need that, they're going to need that. And you get used to that, and that's just experience. Okay, but let's, I just want to look at some of the main areas for you, okay? Let's help this one flex itself over. Yes. Okay, so strategies that you must set up in every business you work with, and you tend to find that a lot of small business owners won't have these set up in the business. One is always going to be implementing the marketing funnel. It doesn't matter how basic it is, even if it's just one lead capture and one get a free report or get a voucher or just one tiny little thing, one action. It's getting that customer's details, whether it's in the form of the name and the and, and mobile number or whether it's the name and an email address. It's just getting that one thing. Put it in every business you work with because they could have a thousand visitors to the website, but if you haven't got a visitor's details, you can't market it to them anymore. They've gone. So you, you want that, so it's essential. And plus, the business owners are going to be so impressed that they've got something automatic going on in the background to be pulling in those prospects because a business owner is busy running his business every day, you know, and a business owner has got to be really careful he doesn't end up um, like the employee of his business almost because it's um, instead of thinking, right, well, I've got to step back and be strategic about this, and I'm the business owner, so I've got to manage and market. They're in there cutting hair or cutting up meat, you know, the butchers and serving customers. And these are things that, um, I don't mean this offensively, um, but you should be paying somebody seven, eight dollars an hour for doing that, and you're overseeing and managing that process, okay? So, to have something going on automatically in the background that's kind of feeding them all the time the prospects, that's exactly what they want, okay? And lots of these little changes add up to make a massive difference in a business. You know, adding an autoresponder, starting off an email campaign to previous customers, um, setting up a referral program for them, putting an upselling strategy, um, even, you know, say like in a uh, hairdresser, so you're going to have a haircut, would you like to buy the products, that kind of thing, you know? Um, increasing your product prices, repositioning a product, repurposing or repackaging a product for a different market sector. So there are so many things you can do, um, and there's so many obvious things that you just know you're going to end up doing, and then through doing your marketing audit and your qualifications, you're just going to pick out so many gaps, you just know, I know what to do there, and I know what to do there, and I know I could add a couple of bits of value there, and I know we're going to add a couple of hundred dollars there, and that's the kind of thing. So that's why we're going to be work working. So let me give you an example of one of these now, just to show you. And I've put it into a um, conversation. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at the clock. I put it into a conversation for you so you can get a, a nice, give you a little bit of a script to work to. There's no scripts involved in this because you've got to say what you're comfortable with. You've got to use your own um, um, way of speaking, you know. So I don't want you to say, well, I'm going to tell you that's the way it should be because you've said it's that way. It's not. Stick with what you're comfortable with, but you'll be able to pick out the main points that I'm making in a minute. But before I do, just excuse me while I'll take a sip from my drink. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so let's pick out. Um, I don't want to go back now. <laughs> I think I was wrong. Um, right, past customers. All right, I'll tell you a story. I went to a jeweler's. She's moaning that she's just not getting enough customers. Sales have gone. She had a really big 
dual rebranding and it's kind of fizzled out a bit now, it's not as popular. Um, so the heyday of um, having an easy business is disappearing for her, so she was struggling and so she's right. What about all the sales of the people you've sold to in the past 12 months? Well, what do you mean? Where are they? Well, they're in a list, they're, they're in a list there somewhere all filed away in that bag of all their email addresses. All right, okay. <laughs> Have you contacted them since? No. <laughs> Have you got them on a database? space? Uh, don't know. Well, of course she's going to have them somewhere, because they're all internet purchases off her website, okay? But she's been sat on that, and then she's sat there telling me she's not got enough money coming into her business, okay? So let me give you a script for this. <clears throat> so, okay, Mr. Business Owner, I think I have enough information here now to get some kind of picture as to what's going on here, and it, it, it's enough for me to determine how I can help you get to this £300,000 a year in sales. Okay, so what I'm getting is that, or what certainly stands out to me is, and you can choose or you can pick out from your marketing order. And what you're doing, you're not telling him he's got a problem. You're just highlighting them, which his mind is going to go back and he's going to know. Because these are the questions where you went, oh, don't know. You know. How do you deal with that? Oh, don't know. That kind of thing. So let me just go back there. Okay, so what I'm getting is that your website isn't getting you anywhere near the right amount of inquiries at the moment. And, blah, 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 you know, so you put another one in there that you've noticed and perhaps another one in. Okay. And then you've got your amount they spent on marketing. So there you go. And although you spent nine thousand dollars on marketing last year, you didn't really gain much increase in business, did you, Mr. Business Owner? So obviously we'd have to change that for you. We certainly need to get you to a much greater return on your marketing investment. Okay? Now I'm just gonna pause that there, what I've said. And you're probably already seeing the power of what I've said without selling anything again. No talk of selling, no talk of trying to buy anything, no talk of signing him up. I'm just establishing the facts here, yeah? He knows his website isn't getting him anywhere near the right amount of inquiries. And we pulled it out because we asked him some questions about his marketing in terms of how much traffic are you getting and how many inquiries are you getting based on that traffic to be, to be track the ratio. As you know, that would have been one of the questions you asked to uncover this problem. And you've, added, you've done his marketing audit, so you, you've got a list of all the marketing activities you did last year, so you know he spent around £9,000. And you know that based on the year before, he only had, say, roughly, say, like a $10,000 increase in turnover last year. So you're saying, so obviously we'd have to change that, because he knows he has to change that. That's why he asked you there in the first place, okay? So you just, you're just getting everything established here, and all the time he's saying yes, and he's going wow, and he's going this this person is great and they know what they're talking about. And these things are going on in his mind all the time. So this is buy, 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 buy. So this silent back, back so silent buying signals going through his mind, okay? And it's like that self qualification I was talking to you about before. I said self qualifying and it was difficult to explain without showing you what was behind it, but I'm showing you this now so you can see that there's something behind the self-qualification because there's something behind them. So I've shown you, he keeps saying, I've got a problem, I need this dealt with, but you've done no selling, okay? So although you spent £9,000 on marketing last year, you didn't really gain much increase in business, so obviously we'd have to change that. We certainly need you, need to get you so much greater return on your marketing investment. Pause for a breath. <laughs> okay, the page worked again, great. So. At first, I'm going to finish the conversation off in a minute, and I'll read it all the way through so it flows for you. But I just wanted to interject here. You you may find this a little bit difficult at first. You know, when you're first going out and you're thinking, right, I've got to ask him that, and I've got to remember that, and I've got to try and think of something for that, and I remember what somebody told me about how to do that, and I've got to try and put all this together. So you might not feel incredibly confident putting this all together and doing this entirely in front of the customer. Um, you know, when you're newer at this, I mean, it's easy for me to say, I just walk in there and it's like blah, 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 blah. Um, not that I'm complacent, but it's kind of, it just rolls off the tongue automatically. But you do have to come up with a few little things in front of the client just to have this effect, you know, the effect you want so that your close is virtually non-existent because he's already decided that you're going to be doing the work for him, okay? So what I'm going to do now, hopefully this will work, I'm going to flip back the last two slides so we can read you the whole of it together, all right? So you can get a feel for how it sounds. Hey. Okay. 
<sighs> oh, I stood wrong again. Oh, there we go. Okay, Mr. Business Owner, I think I have enough information here now to get some kind of picture as to what's been going on, and enough for me to determine how I can help you get to your £300,000 in a year in sales that you want to achieve. Okay, so what certainly stands out to me is that your website isn't getting you anywhere near the right amount of inquiries as it needs to. Um, so, um, we've got a lot of website visitors, but we don't seem to be getting a lot of inquiries from it, so we need to be looking at that too. Problem, problem, problem. Okay? And although we spent $9,000 on marketing last year, you didn't really gain much increase in business. So obviously we'd have to change that for you. And we certainly need to get you to a much greater return on your marketing investment. And from what you've told me today, there are certainly lots of gaps that we can fill to get you to your target of $300,000 this year. Now, obviously, there's quite a few things that really stand out based on what you've told me. And what I'd really like to focus on is working on what you've already got. Let me show you what I mean, Mr. Customer. And this is just one example here. I can see that you've got roughly a thousand previous customers. You know, you talked about, you know, you've been going through years. So we've, somewhere you've got details of all these customers. Um, and I know you don't contact with them in the last 12 months, but somewhere you've got a list of approximately a thousand customers. So what I'd certainly like to do is do some kind of revival campaign for you, you know, a, a customer revival campaign. Now, from my calculation, when we worked your numbers out before we looked at your client numbers, um, we calculated that the client was worth what was it, $150 uh, a year, Mr. Business Owner? Yes, that's right, yeah, because they were buying 10 times a year and they were spending an average that amount each. Brilliant, yeah. So if we say um, you've got 1,000 previous customers and um, your customers are currently spending about $150 a year, okay. So when we look at a campaign like this, a revival campaign, obviously with some people, some people are going to move town and some people have passed away and some people aren't going to uh, not have a need for your products anymore, that kind of thing. But the, I find the average conversion on a campaign like this is usually 10 to 20 percent, okay? So let's say if we take the, the lower number just to be on the safe side, but with the 1,000 customers you've got on this list, <clears throat> you know, we'll be looking at roughly $15,000 from implementing this campaign in your business. Pause. Wow, <laughs> which is certainly getting you heading in the right direction, isn't it, Mr. Business Owner? Pause. Wow. Okay. So now, can you see how, just by asking questions, just by being interested in his business, just by finding out all about what's going on, just by digging deep, yeah, just by having the knowledge of knowing where to dig, you've suddenly shown the business owner, without you having to do it in a salesy way, that you can automatically click of a finger, 15 minutes, put £15,000 on his, into his turnover figure for the year. Okay? And he knows that just that one thing, because you said this is just one example, Mr. Business Owner, you know, you know, just one thing and many things we can come up with for you. Um, he's thinking, wow, okay? So then you go on to say, now obviously, Mr. Business Owner, we've discussed a lot today. And I want to take a much deeper look at this to ensure I spot every opportunity for you to grow your business. So I will need some time to go through it. Is this the kind of thing you were expecting? Of course it is. You know, well, you know, usually they expect someone to walk in the business and stand there for 10 minutes arguing with them how they must have some SEO, you know, based on one keyword that's rubbish. So he's had this totally different experience with you. He's had this one person who's seems to have given all this time, which in fact is all automatic, because it was in your funnel, but he spent all this time giving out all this free information. He's gladly welcomed you when he's never pestered you to say, I want to talk to you, but you've gone to him, you're the, business, the business owner has come to you, you know, so he's been to come to you, he's not been forced to do anything. He wanted you to come to him, you got to the point he wanted you to go and see him, because he phoned you up or filled in the form. You talked to him for 10 minutes, you made sure he was the right person for you, you went to see him, you sat with him for an hour, and you've just found him £15,000 to put in his business. So, of course, he wasn't expecting this, but he was expecting. Um, he's, he's just totally dumbfounded, okay? So, you're going to have a position now. 
You've mm -hmm. really cemented the value mm -hmm. you can add to this business. You should be really well to your approach. If he's not, yeah. then I don't know who else you see because there's not many better consultants than me when it comes to this. Ha ha. <laughs> and the instant value you want to add to this business, you've, what you've done is you've walked in here and said, look, this is the way forward. You've given them the next step and you've given them the power to take that because when he's starting his business and he's there definitely thinking, oh God, I need a few customers, I need to pay that bill, I need to pay that fat bill, I need to pay the rent, I need to pay my staff, where am I going to get that extra couple of thousand dollars from the end of this month, all the sales figures are down. He can't see anything else. So you've given them, you've come out and you've cleared all the clutter out of the way. You've got deep into the business, you knew where to dig, you've asked the right questions, you've found it for $15,000 straight away. Okay, you've, so you've given them that next step, but all the time, you've still not tried to sell him anything at this point, okay? And that is a marketing audit and what you do on an appointment, because now all you need to do is say, okay, so when do you want to get started, Mr. Business Owner? Or a very simple question just to confirm that he's going to work with you, because I can't see how. Well, I've experienced it myself. There's not many people that say we know shit at this stage. There's going to be some kind of personality clash or something that's, you know, you can't help them with or a scale of a business. There was one business that had to turn around because they had 15 webs and I thought, I can't deal with this. You know, I couldn't deal with it. They didn't know what they wanted properly and they said they did. And when I got there, there was different people I was talking to and it's like, no, I can't be bothered with this. But, you're going to close the deal nine times out of ten because you, why not? What fool is going to turn around and say, actually, no, no, thank you. He's just going to make himself look like a fool. Okay? So that is the process of getting clients. What do you think of that? Questions in the box. Are you happy with that? Does it make sense? Has that been good? Have you taken something from that? Let me know. Rich, could you uh, give me some feedback? Hello. Oh, that's Rich gone to sleep there, so I'll carry on. <laughs> okay, yep, so it's just moving on to the final close, and that's the consultative selling process in a nutshell. Okay. Rich, are you there? I'm going to struggle with this question box myself. Let's have a look. Okay, right, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. I'm here, hon. What do you want me to do? Um, do you think we've got any questions at this point of what everyone thought of that or how they felt that would work for them in their business or would they be comfortable doing that kind of thing? If you can type in the chat box and let me know, you know, what you thought about whether that's going to be useful to you. Any questions on that bit? Brent is uh, saying you make a lot of sense. Jimmy Hoskins is saying excellent consultative uh -huh. selling. Uh -huh. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, I prefer your American way of saying it. Consultative. It sounds better than consultative, actually. I'm going to adopt that one, I think. Okay. Well, what, what, what have you got for us tonight, Amanda? Um, I, I mean, you know, everybody here, you know, they're, they're absolutely excited. What do you say we go ahead and present what we're going to present, and then we'll take some questions that hopefully will be the questions, and you can give them the answers they need so they can make the right decision. Just really now, um, I've tried to give you the biggest overview I can possibly of, of running through because I didn't just want to give you one strategy because I thought it might not fit. I didn't think it would be enough for you to take you away. So I've run through very quickly the, the overall and give you a very deep strategy on the sign-up because I think that's important to a lot of people. And obviously, um, this has all come about through me being a marketing consultant and wanting to move into a more freedom-based business. And I know I talked about such you being a marketing consultant and have that freedom, but I want to start moving around more. I've got family in Ireland and um, quite fancy Wales and in the England at the moment. Um, so I want to do a little bit more online and, and get more people so I can help more people online, basically, you know, with this kind of level of training. Um, so what I did, I thought, right, what can I do? 
and what yeah. I'm the best at, and I know yeah. more than anything, what I'm best at is dealing with people, sitting down, and going, right, let's make something happen in your business. So that's what I've been doing for a long time. And I sat down and thought, well, how do I run my business? You know, I've seen all the um, questions on the Warrior Forum, and I think, oh my God, where are you going wrong here? This is terrible. Um, let me put something together that is my business, step by step by step, that's more than my business, that gives you the background in terms of how to do marketing. Um, the way I've learned how to do marketing through being in business and, and the corporate world and in the business world for so many years, through running your own business, um, techniques that have come from the Chartered Institute of Marketing as well, from having those qualifications, you know, and being marketing managers with um, hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of budgets to work with, you know. So everything, it's the whole summary of probably 25 years of business, marketing, sales, all together, because that's what my business is. It's my personality, my experience comes together. And I put the whole thing together from setting up your business. If you haven't got a business going right now, it doesn't matter. Because there's certain steps to be working with your clients, and that is the same process of setting up your business. So what I do in the training, the way I've created the training, is that I show you how it's done. But all the way through, we're applying it to your business. So by the time you finish watching the video, you're not just sat there and thinking, well, that's an hour gone by now, and I'd better go to bed now. You've done something about your business. So that means you can get going faster, or you've made that change in your business that you needed to make that's helped you make get that next step quicker, that next step in place quicker. So that's an overview of the course. Um, oh, don't start playing up on me now. There we go. <laughs> um, and if you do want to be successful, you need to follow a successful and proven system. Um, it's no good, just a couple of strategies here, a couple of strategies there. You've got to focus, and, and it's not push button, it's not something you just click your fingers and go, okay, I know what to do now and it's going to work. I'm not trying to say it's something like, because it certainly isn't. You've got to focus on yourself, you've got to work on yourself and you've got to educate yourself and you've got to build this knowledge. But the way I've tried to do it is try to make it very simple for you and put it in the key bits you need to know. Cut out all the bits, all the rubbish that if you went to get proper training here and proper training there, you wouldn't need to and there's bits you don't need and I've put everything together that you do need and how you can implement everything that I show you so that you can create a successful offline marketing business and run a business like I'm having. And hopefully, you know, in six, twelve months' time, you could sit here and have the same, com you could sit where you are now, actually, and be even better, wouldn't it? <laughs> you could sit and have this conversation that I'm having with you now and just let it come out, you know, because I've had to put these prompts in, otherwise it'd be a bit strange staring at a blank screen. Um, but you'd be able to just, you know, because you know what to do, you've learned all this knowledge, you're working in it, and it's just something that becomes automatic in your mind, okay? So, if this gets you to, you know, having the monthly income you've always wanted, you know, but you won't have to create or sell any other internet or information marketing products again, unless you want to move more into the model that I do and do, um, the training program, so you've got an upsell for your customers, um, you know, like, um, well, if you, you know, pay me a couple of hundred pounds a month, you might want to do some online training uh, videos for the staff or something. But, you know, without having to go down this road of doing the traditional internet marketing product, you know, you don't have to drive thousands and thousands of um, people to, to an offer page. You know, it's, it's, it's a small amount of people you can work with. That's because your conversions are so high. You know, and you don't have, and you've seen, I've closed a deal for it. All right, I'm coming at the very end of it. Um, you know, you've not seen in full the piece before, but you don't have to use any hyper hard sell to convert people. You, you become friends with business owners. Um, you're that trusted advisor because that's the position you're putting yourself in. And you gain this, you know, as I said to you before, I don't go knocking on doors. People might think, phew, need to think you are, you know. But it's not, it's having that knowledge, the confidence in myself to know that I don't need to do that. So I feel like sitting on drinking a cup of coffee all morning and someone's trying to ring me three times. I'm not unprofessional that I ignore them, you know, but it's not like, oh my gosh, my customer, I've got to, you know, because you've only got one customer. It's, you let people come to you, okay? You, there's not this panic and this problem that people are having that how do customers, I'm fed up with phoning people, 
don't do it, you're wasting your time. Okay? Tell those people do that. We're professionals, we're marketing consultants, okay? So if you haven't got the business of your dreams yet, um, how much longer are you gonna wait for it to happen? You know, the stuff I've given you today. Um, it's fully backed up by a training program that is so much involved in it. You know, it's not a basic training, it's a complete blueprint and I thought of everything. If I wanted to start from scratch again, what would I have to do? Okay? And I'll put it all in there for you. We'll start with the first section of the course. I'm going to do some uh, videos, and just a brief introduction. And then I do some uh, video on success and mindset. And I've even included a bit in there about um, monitoring your own um, success and your confidence, because I don't want that to be numbers, because that's important. So I've included some work on success and mindset. Then we look at marketing as a process. The process of marketing um, as um, an activity, because a lot of people see marketing as activity, it's like, well, yeah, I do marketing. Okay, but it's also a process. There's a process you apply to a business. Like I've shown you with the marketing audit, you put things in place and you go underneath where everybody at the level everybody else is on, and you look at things from a different level. And this process is pulling things out where you need them to help you create the mar right marketing strategies. So we look at that process of marketing because there's a certain way you have to do things in terms of um, the research and analysis and, and getting this customer thing so tight um, that you just, when you do your research properly, the rest of your marketing, you don't have to do any because there's none left to do. So people get to the sales page and say, I've got all this work to do now. I've got, I've got to talk to a person, I've got all this work to do now, or putting the strategies together for the business. You can see from what I've just shown you, if you'd have come out of that business, there's no marketing to do, you just got to fill in the gaps. You were just filling in the gaps, like making this website, so you knew you had to do that. That's because you've already done the processes and put all the strategies in place beforehand. It's difficult to explain. I've said, they keep saying this, I know, I'm sorry. But it is difficult to explain without you seeing everything as a whole. But as you can see, bits have come together tonight, okay? Um, people buy products to fulfill a need, yeah? And if you want to start making lots of money, you have to start marketing right where the money is. You know, these business owners want real solutions to the problems. They don't want another salesperson in their business who's going to make loads of promises to them. Um, they want someone who can sit down, guide them by the hand, Oh, there's a spelling mistake there. Treat them properly, like we just had a conversation, and there's no selling involved, it's a conversation, have a sensible conversation with them, because you've got to think. These business owners, if their business isn't going so well, they're not going to start telling the friends at the pub, they're not going to start telling the friends at the golf club, they're not going to start talking to the neighbours about it, you know, because they don't want to lose face. So to be able to sit down and have a down and dirty conversation about the business with someone that you know they can trust, it's, it's really valuable to them. And Knowing that their business is going to be um, healthy, you know, and the income is there, that gives them a sense of security that is so much more than what you see when you get to know these people. Because, like I say, the homes, the children, you know, what my children have for tea tonight? Nothing because we didn't sell any socks today in the shop, dear. You know, that kind of thing. You're giving them freedom from worry. You're giving them peace of mind. So you're giving them a lot in return. And so, you know, I would advise... If, if you want a nice little business, okay, if you want something that you can build on, if you want something that's non-pressured, if you want something that you can twist and bend to match your lifestyle and what you're doing and your level of learning and your abilities, um, I would say go for this. There's a 60 day money back guarantee on it and there's so much more to tell you about the course and again I'm still looking at the clock here because we've been on um, an hour and a half. Um, I'm going to keep running through the rest of the course until Rich tells me to shut up, okay? Um, but go for this. If, if There's a 60-day guarantee, okay? There's 30 of swipe files in here um, that I've included. All You know, you saw the copy of the marketing audit, all the documents I use in my business, so it's quick for you to get going. Um, but going back to running this business, you know, helping these people, helping them, giving them security, the peace of mind, um, helping them feel safe, secure in their lives, you know. You're also doing that for yourself, aren't you? Because you're building yourself this business. It's a future. And I think in, in one of the other documents I wrote about the course, you know, 
this is where the long term is in this because one bit I messed up for marketing audit when I was talking before, one way I used to convert what to call marketing by the numbers. If that we uncover that that um, business owner has spent nine thousand dollars on marketing and he didn't realize he was spending it. And let's say he only got a hundred new customers for that year that he spent um, nine thousand dollars on marketing, you say to him, Look, if I could get you 500 new customers, that's what you want, isn't it? We've worked out the, the amount of increase you want in income based on average customer spend. That's roughly 500 new customers a year, right? If I can do that for you, $9,000, you're going to be more than happy with that, aren't you? And of course they are. So all you're doing is you say to him, because I say to him, well, look, this is how it works. We split this down monthly, and each month we keep adding the bits of marketing in that we need. Because you can't implement everything at once in a business, it's just too much, okay? And it's got to come in stages as well. So there, all of a sudden, as long as you're bringing in that client more than it's costing him, yeah? Um, he's going to be happy to pay you, and he's never going to want to stop paying you. So as long as that increase of a thousand, um, three thousand, five thousand dollars a month is there in his business, he's going to be more than happy to pay you eight hundred dollars a month, constantly. Month in, month out. And that is just, you've seen how easy it is, you just got to make sure you keep implementing, just to make that it's all working as it should be. You know, implement the next strategy that you've already decided on way back when you did the marketing audit and the qualification. So that's how nice this business can be and how long term it is and how you can very quickly build this up. You know, £800 a month of an hour's conversation. Having the funnel set up in your business to draw people to you, you've not done any work to get that, they've just come to you, you've sat down with them for an hour, you've got £800 a month. How easy was that? Set up his marketing, put it all in the plan to be rolled out over the next 12 months, done. Yeah? Go on to the next one. So as I said to you before, if you want a $100,000 business, you can easily do this with 10, 20, 30 clients a month. And that's not a lot of clients to manage, and that's not a client, lots of clients to build up over 12 months, is it really, if you think about it, you know? Getting, could you get 30 clients in the next 12 months? I'm sure you could, you know, once you've got these, all these strategies in place. Even now, I'm sure you could do it, okay? And if you're doing it this way, it works for you. So if you're not sure at this stage, I understand that totally. Um, it's a slightly bigger investment than a lot of the products you see. Um, but ask yourself, what is it that's holding you back? Okay, because the, I thought about doing this um, online stuff two years ago, and I was scared. Now people laughing, you scared because I'm not that type of person. You know, I'm not a bullshit person, um, but I've never been the type to be scared. Okay, but I felt so damn stupid. Sorry, is that swearing? I'm sorry, darn. Um, sorry about that. So really stupid, it's talking to a computer screen. And it's only really in the last two or three months I said to myself, you've got to get over this. But people find it strange that I would rather be stood in a room full of 100 people and stand on stage and talk. I find that much easier because you're getting that feedback, you know, that face-to-face. -face. Um, but what is it that's holding you back? Because if it's something as simple as that, then just let it go and think, why am I letting this you know, run my life no more, I'm not going to let it hold me back anymore, I'm just going to go for it, you know, I've got this level of confidence, it's been demonstrated to me that I can do this, I've got that, um, you know, that risk-free um, level of security there, where if, if it is just not for me, you know, there's a six-day money-back guarantee there, I'm not saying that I want you to sign up and get your money back, no, of course I don't, I want this product should be the most useful thing you've ever done and I want you to come to me in 12 months and say, wow, Amanda, I am so glad I did this, you know, and I'd love us to be on Skype and chatting away and still be in touch and keep, you know, on how your business is going. I'd love that to happen. Um, but if you're not satisfied where you are now, do something about it, okay? And if you're not going to go um, and, and have a go at this offline marketing consumption blueprint, and go away today and sit down and put yourself a plan in action and get on with it. And if you get stuck, come back and buy it, okay? Just don't let yourself get stuck anymore and don't let anything stop you, okay? So let me just uh, run through. Rachel, are we doing okay for time? I don't want me to shut up. Yeah.
Well, everybody is saying they love it. They want to take okay. advantage of this. Here's what I'm going to do. Why don't you go through this? And I know that we have the link since we've been doing this now an hour and a half. I'm going to go ahead uh -huh. and I'm going to put the link in while you're just going on and telling everybody what they have. They're going to have a chance okay. to read together as well. So okay. what do you say we just go on and let's just do a synopsis and, um, and then we'll get into questions. Would that be good? That would be very good. Should we just uh, tell everyone about the wonderful bonus I'm giving away? Well, why don't we just tell everything of what they're going to get before they get the bonus, and that way they're okay. going to be able to look at the actual sales page and then click on it. Okay, no problem. Right then. Okay, so I shall uh, carry on. Okay, so amongst many of the things you're going to be learning, I'm going to teach you how to identify who can really help and how to select your most ideal clients because there's no point picking people, as I said earlier on, um, who are difficult to work with. You want the most ideal clients and they're the easiest to sign up. You don't want this to be hard work, okay? I'm going to show you how to map out and set up your business model so you can spend your time only on the most profitable activity. I don't want you to be in anything that's messing around, chasing where, where there are websites from, really, where you need to get a text service from. I don't want any of that. You spend your time sitting in front of customers and signing customers up and talking to them on the phone and getting more customers into your business. That's what you do. No messing with any piddly stuff. I'm not having it. That's the rules, okay? <laughs> so I show you all that as well. How to consistently attract high pay and local clients. Well, I think you've got a real good feel for that tonight, that that is, is, that is a given, isn't it? That that's within the program after what I've just run through with you tonight. You know, you, you're not going to attract spend a penny people here by, by dealing this way, okay? And if it is that you just deal with sort of fine, just go for the businesses with the money, it doesn't matter. You know, you've got family boots because you want to help these businesses. So you, people are you shallow just because you go for the people. No, I'm going for people who want to pay me what I am worth, okay? You've got to look at it that way. Have a little bit more about yourself, you're worth it, okay? How to successfully sell your professional marketing services without being salesy? Again, I think I've clearly demonstrated that to you, so you've got no concerns over that. How to deal with objections? Um, that video I did on the marketing audit, I'll do another video on clothes, and then after that I'll just do a little bit on dealing with objections. I've got a few scripts in there. Um, just to help you along, you know, so I don't want you to be, to get to a point where a customer does say, because I've, I've said this is easy, but what if the 10% say, well, actually, okay, so I've given you that as well. How to command higher consulting fees and charge what you're worth, again, I think you can see that for the level of service you're giving, you are worth it, you are um, so valuable to a business, and if you're not being so valuable, then you've got to... Um, charge the fees that you would if you're not some ten a penny um, salesperson here, you are some an expert, so charge it, you know. How to get rid of your hidden fears and doubts that are holding you back and stopping the creating the life and income you deserve. And to talk about life, like personal development course, it's not easy, but it all starts with your mindset, your income and that. It's all on a roll, isn't it? Confidence, a bit more income, have a success, take a step forward, feel more confident, earn more money. So all comes one after the other. So I try and roll that little bit in for you as well. And of course, I try and give you as much information as possible and as much background, like I've been talking to you tonight about how a business owner is, so that you can go out there and you feel you know them, but you don't feel like you're going out there blind. Okay, so I try to pass on my experience to you as well. How to confidently talk to business owners about growing their business. Again, so you can stand there and have that conversation, say, well, do you do this, and do you do this, and what's about the numbers on this, and I'll show you how to work out some of these key numbers and key factors and key things that we play with. How to position yourself and your business as an authority. Well, again, we know that's, that's a given. We have to do that so that people come to you, you can command higher fees, and you never have to be chasing business ever, ever, ever again. Okay? So before you get this, um, just let me um, run through what you get. I think there's, I've added this talk, I think there's over five hours of video training, um, which I think you're beginning to get these now, whether you can stand to listen to my voice for five hours. <laughs> but I've not, I've broken it down into small videos, because like I don't want you to sat there for an hour thinking, right, I've got to go and deal with the children, I've got to go and make the tea, I've got to finish the ironing, I've got to get this ready for tomorrow. I understand that you're... Um, not everybody's got the full day to dedicate to this, so I've done it in like 20, um, 20 minute chunks, and I've detailed out each video, you know, and then there's all the 
the printouts to go with the video for what I've just been talking about as well. So you've got five hours of video training and walkthroughs broken down into nice chunks for you. Um, there's over, I think when I counted, I think there's over 30 templates business forms, swipe files, that kind of thing that I use in my business. Things like the marketing audit form you've seen there. Um, the, um, when you're doing a, going into a business and you're doing qualification, give you a great big list of questions to ask. I'll pick out what I need to ask. I don't ask everything. Um, but I've tried to get as many in there so you can pick out what you want in there. And give you this list so that you can update it yourself and bend it and mold everything into your business as, as you gain in confidence and knowledge. So I also included, just so you've got that, um, it's kind of like as though you've been in business a long time. I felt if you've got a lot of these documents, it's like you've been in business a long time. So like guerrilla marketing tactics that work in small businesses because you can come up with some crap. Once you get going and get everything in place within the business, like the fundamentals in place and everything's rocking and they've got people coming in on the website right now and the headlines are arising in the website and we're, we're getting prospects and we're getting inquiries through the contact forms and we can see the basics happening, the things that have to happen. We can then start introducing the fancy things, you know, like doing some clever marketing techniques in the Christmas, one of the things we used to do in our shop. We used to get two gorgeous looking girls, dress them up in little sand dresses and go around the town. We used to do a gentleman's evening at Christmas. The gentleman could come and buy with gift wrap and beer when they came in, a little bit of a snack, sit down, chill out, there's your gift, off you go, pay me your money. But they loved it, it works. The local papers followed us. We got on the news, social media, but you know, those kind of things. So things that have worked in the past. So I include all those for you as well. Um, just to give you some confidence, you know, I've been doing this a long time, I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> this is what I did ages ago. Okay. Um, how to use my marketing by number? No, excuse me. Just take a quick sip of my drink again. How to use my marketing by numbers, numbers formulas, so that your appointments and presentations go your way easily, and your persuasion tactics are indisputable. Um, really. Rich? I'm here. I'm here. I'm Can you here. Can take over for two minutes, please? What's that? Can you just take over for one minute? Oh, absolutely. You know, folks, I got to tell you, I've been sending, I've been sending you out the link, and I, and in fact, uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, uh, you missed that. What is marketing mayhem? I'll tell you about that in a second, Neil. Um, if you get a chance to go to the link now. Uh, you will see everything that she is going to uh, uh, give you. And, and in fact, uh, she is a good coach, Charlie Thomas is saying. Yeah, she's excellent, actually. Um, here's the thing. You'll be able to take advantage of her and her materials. She's going to be there to coach you. Her materials, I, I believe me, I vetted this webinar before we put it on, and I know she has the materials. Now, yeah, it's gone on an awful long time, but you know what? The bottom line is this. What you're going to be able to get tonight for taking advantage of $147 is you'll be getting not only everything that that uh, Amanda is offering, but I'm going to throw in a couple of tickets to Marketing Mayhem as well. Yes, that's right. Uh, these tickets are now going for $199 each. And oh, I'm, I'm, done. Two of them. I'm not done. You just sit right here and you listen. Okay, Amanda, Amanda yeah. you, you just sit right there and listen for a second because uh, what I've done is not only have I given everybody the opportunity to go to your link, mm -hmm. but I'm also telling them that I'm going to be giving them two tickets to come to Marketing Mayhem in San Diego on March the 22nd, 3rd, and 24th and um, if you take advantage of it tonight you'll be my VIPs as well so um, I've given them the link uh, it's uh, you can go to uh, marketing consultant blueprint com forward slash special dash offer dash sign up dash 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 <laughs> just go ahead and cut and paste that or you can uh, go ahead and uh, go to the chat box. I'm going to put it in there one more time. Now, if you, now this is a direct link. If you want to go to the sales page, and when I say the sales page, I don't we don't, we don't want it to sound like it's salesy, but it is basically what 
we're telling you is that here is the answers to the questions that you need, A, to overcome the objections, and to give your client the information that they need so not only do they uh, get the reassurance that they're making the right decision by working with you, but they're getting the reassurance that you have the valuable sources that you need so you can help them out. And that's what you're going to be able to get too. So if, if you want to take a look at everything that, uh, that Amanda has to offer, the clickable link I put in the chat box right now, and you can just go ahead and click on that, and it'll take you to the complete page. Now, if you want to just go to the direct route and just go and take advantage of this wonderful offer, like I said, it's $147. But let me, before we go on and before I let Amanda finish, because she's going to wrap it up here in about a, a minute or two, and we'll get to your questions. Um, mm -hmm. When you take a look at the value that you're getting, um, and the value that not only are you getting her experience, but she's a great coach, she's pleasant to listen to, she's got the information that's going to help you, plus, here's the thing, she's going to work with you for at least the next 60 days. Now, I'm not talking about every minute 24-7, I'm saying if she's giving you a 60-day guarantee, whereas if you're not successful with all the materials that she has to offer tonight, she's going to refund your money. Now, you can't get much better than that. Is that, is that not correct, Amanda? That is absolutely correct. Um, I, one of the things that put me off internet marketing originally was I felt it was far too false. Um, I thought it was, oh, I just hated it. I just don't like, maybe I could pick up more because I'm a marketing person and I've come from a strong sales background so I could see through it totally. I didn't like it. It's too cheesy. It's horrible. Um, and I know I've had to do a sales page and, and sometimes I feel a bit cheesy putting it all together. I don't know whether you use that term in America, cheesy, a bit twee, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, and I don't like it, but what what's important to me is that yeah, it's great. I've, I've, I've sold some um, products to my training, and yes, it's great. I've got some customers. That's the selfish point of view. But going deeper than that, my values is I wouldn't want anyone buying anything of mine that gets left, not watched, um, thought it was rubbish, um, weren't happy with it, not getting what I want them to get from it. Because really, I want you to have this so that you can go out and do what I'm doing, because I, the way I see this, I'm not just helping you, like, help your family, I'm helping the business owners, because you can go out and we, we're getting rid of all of these horrible salespeople who aren't giving any value to the businesses, and they're, walking, they're dealing with professional people, and we're kind of really helping small businesses, I'm helping you, you're happier, your family's happier. And I want to work with you, and I want to see you do well. It's really important to me, you know, that everybody's successful. Because I always think that um, your success, my success, is based on your success, really. You know, as good as I am, you'll be. I want you to be as good as that, really. Um, and the other bonus we discussed, Rich, which um, I know you gave your tickets away, which I'm more to have. <laughs> I'm not shut up about my bonus. I said I do because I want to do it. Um, for, um, usually, I would charge for group coaching, and I'd charge about $1,000 for it to, to be like this in a situation um, on a regular basis, and just talk to me um, within a group of, you know, 10, 20 people. I am more than happy on this occasion, um, just to make sure you really get going, and because this is my first product, you know, and, and because I might not have explained something, so, Right, because this is the very first time I've documented my experience, okay? So I want you to be able to come to me very quickly and get your questions answered and, and make things easy for you. So I can't be um, on hand 24 hours a day to answer your questions. That would be impossible. Um, I've got two children and a husband to deal with, and they're stressful enough. Um, but what I can do, and what I want to do, actually, because I'd like to see you all progress. I'd like to watch and be there and along the way, and I want to hear your stories. Every two weeks, if you buy me this this weekend, every two weeks, you're going to jump on the webinar with me. No charge for this whatsoever. I'm going to be here. We're going to do an hour, an hour and a half. 
be group, it's not one-to-one. -one. And we're going to go through this. So any questions, share your successes, where you're up to, anything you weren't sure of and you want to talk to me about, something you want to go deeper in, something you still come. It's just going to be a live Q&A. Get everything out. Let's share it, you know, and, and let's see how, how far we can get you to be doing that. So I'm quite happy to do that. And that's going to be for next 60 days for you. Six months, as long as it takes us. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's four webinars. That's four opportunities, two times a month, for you to jump on with Amanda to actually answer Q&A, to give her your input, to see you how you're progressing by using her materials and the opportunity to work with her to, uh, well, to help you close more sales. I think the bottom line is this. What you're going to learn um, is you're going to learn how to properly be a consultant, how to close these sales, more importantly, how to overcome the objections and close the sales and properly service your customer to where you will get repeat and referral business. Now, it's the total package that has a lot of material over delivering. That is why you need to take advantage of this now. Now, somebody's asking, marketing mayhem online also. No, add marketing mayhem. Well, marketing mayhem live .com is the marketing site that is promoting our San Diego event. But that's really not the focus. That's just the bonus right here. So, Ed, if you wanted to look at marketingmayhemlive.com, you can. That's just the bonus if you take advantage of it now, which, by the way, I want to congratulate Social Mobile Marketing because they are the ones that uh, took advantage of it so far. So, congratulations. To Wonderful. You. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. And um, go ahead and take advantage of this link now and take advantage of it. It's going to be something that I'm telling you that if you need to fill your library up, and, and what I call it, filling up the bullets in your gun, when you go out to approach these customers and you need to be able to not only over that come the objection, but you need to overcome it quickly and then just go ahead and turn around and close the deal because you know what? You never really get a second chance to make a great first impression. I kind of disagree yep. with that. I think that you've got to leave a better last impression. And here are the materials that are going to help you do that. So come on, folks. Take advantage of this now. I put the link, the clickable link in the uh, chat box. And uh, I've also got the cut and paste link in the question box. So Amanda, I'll tell you what, let's take a couple of questions. I know there was a couple of them here. Yes. And, um, uh, First of all, I'm really sorry about having to dash off there. I'm so sorry. Uh, why would you be sorry? Sometimes you got to go to the blue. Oh my God, <laughs> did I just say that? I apologize. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, they call it a U. We, we, uh, at my house, we hmm? call it a gym. Right. Well, some people call it a John. I call it a gym because every morning I can tell people I get up and go to the gym. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. Um, I'm glad we still have your attention. Um, let's go ahead and take some questions if you have any. Um, it's an excellent strategy. As Rick says, people tend to ask price before they even know the full scope, and they try to force all businesses into the same box no matter how unique, so they can get the lowest price. Delaine, you're exactly right when you say something like that, but sometimes price isn't the best value. Sometimes the lowest price isn't the best value. You know they say what's good isn't cheap and what's cheap isn't good. And if you think about it, that's a very profound statement. Um, but however, you're getting a very inexpensive opportunity with a mentor's product to take advantage of that. So, Elaine, I hope that answered your question. And then I'm sorry that I answered it for you, Amanda, because I'm getting excited about this whole thing. I want you to take advantage of this, okay. folks. It's, it's, it's an excellent opportunity. So if you have any questions, we're going to be wrapping it up here in just a couple of minutes. Uh, John is uh, saying, in this process, universal for all bit. Oh, congratulations to uh, Mr. Bragg. Thank you very much, Ed. You're awesome. Plus, you got a couple of, couple of tickets to Marketing Mayhem. You're going to love it. 
Um, John is saying, is this process universal for all businesses in general? Like, what about yes. specializing something uh, such as restaurants? Okay. Now, um, who was it who asked that question? Sorry. That was John. Have we got a name there? He does. Hey, I John. John. Um, just... Okay. <laughs> um, this is... Um, I'm glad you asked this question because this is the kind of thing you'll get from business owners, oh this doesn't work in my business. Um, and what is really important here is that we, we, like I said to you before, I'm not saying, I'm not saying this point of the finger at you saying right you're thinking about the trunk. What I'm saying is we're changing mindsets and as we learn more and as we change mindsets and we get underneath the surface, so the surface of it is that yes, you run a restaurant, the surface of it is that restaurants do things slightly different to another business. But when we get onto that, all businesses are the same. All businesses have got customers profit um, and, and the amount of time to purchase in a year. Um, and this is what we keep trying to get through to business owners. No matter what business you're in, you know, no business is different. When we take it down as far as I take it, it applies to any business in any country. It can be non-profit, it can be profit, it can be consumer goods, it can be retail, it can be service-based. It doesn't matter. And I, and I give plenty of examples of different businesses throughout the training so that you get, you not just feel that I'm, I'm talking about one business over another. Um, in fact, there's a couple of restaurant examples in, because um, I did some work with a restaurant, so I think one of the swipe files is still typed up for a restaurant as well. So it, it applies to any business. And as you can see, in overlooked at the marketing audit, that doesn't matter what business you're in, the questions I asked, it doesn't matter what business you had, whether it was a restaurant, how many customers you have, how often did they come in or how often did they buy. How often do they eat here? You know, it's, it's a similar question, but it's the same principles at the end of the day. And that's where the fundamentals and the very deep levels of marketing are always going to work and they're never going to fail you. And Amanda, let me, take, let me take that a step further too. You know, when you're talking about a restaurant, there's all kinds of ways to market a restaurant. So let's say, for example, you're doing consulting with this restaurant and they don't have a Facebook fan page or they have a Facebook fan page. Uh, mm -hmm. You can teach them how to go ahead and market that Facebook fan page. Uh, you know, you That's can right, get yeah. experience from that. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, these are once you've got the fundamental 